All right, so right now we're going to go through some examples of using augmented matrices to actually solve uh, systems of linear equations. Uh, just a side note, my little son Sam is sitting right next to me, so you might hear some uh, goos and gahs and some rattles moving around and stuff. He's pretty happy right now. He's sitting on his little toy mat, but just, just you know, if you hear weird noises, that's probably where it's coming from. I mean, it might be coming from me too, but uh, I'm going to try not to make weird noises. Okay, so let's try solving the following by using augmented matrices and row operations. Now we could do this guy just by doing a substitution. Yes, and you might sit and say, why am I going to use uh, augmented matrices and row operations to do this? The only reason is that I'm going to start with simpler cases and then show how, uh, you know, illustrate the method, and then we'll use it in harder cases where substitution and even uh, our elimination isn't going to work so nicely. So what is the augmented matrix? Let me just abbreviate that, augment, uh, augmate. It's 2, 3... 1, 2, because the coefficient on x here is 1, and over here I've got 1, 2. And so my first uh, thing I want to do is I want to get a 1 to the upper uh, left corner. And I could divide the top by 2, but then I would have 1, 3 halves, and 1 half. So probably the best thing to do is to use the row operation R1 uh, swaps with R2. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And so what we get is the similar matrix. I'm writing the little tilde to mean similar. The bottom row now becomes the top, 1, 2, 2. And the top row now becomes the bottom, 2, 3, 1. Now the second thing, so that was the first thing. The second thing I would like to do is to get a zero in the lower left. And the only way I'm going to accomplish this is by adding a multiple of row one to row two. So I want to make a multiple of row one and row two add up so that I get a zero down here. So I want you know, uh, uh, you know, so what do I have to multiply 1 by so that when I add it to 2, I get 0? Well, we want to multiply 1 by negative 2. So what we want to do is take negative 2 times row 1, add that to row 2, and replace row 2 with that expression. So let me just write out what negative 2 times row 1 is. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Again, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So that's our row 1. Our row 2 is 2, 3, 1. And so when I add negative 2 row 1 to row 2, I just add down. Negative 2 plus 2 gives me 0. Negative 4 plus 3 gives me negative 1. And negative 4 plus uh, 1 gives me negative 3. So that means the result of this is the augmented matrix 1, 2, 2 on top, and 0, negative 1, negative 3 on the bottom. Okay, so now we've got a 0 here. The third thing is we want, uh, so let's get this entry right here, so get the uh, lower middle entry to be 1. Well, right now it's negative 1, so to turn it into 1, I've got to multiply negative 1 by negative 1. So what I'm going to take is negative 1 times r2 and replace r2 by that. So I get the similar matrix, 1, 2, 3 on top, excuse me, the row equivalent matrix. And on the bottom, I get 0, negative 1 times 1, negative 1 is 1, 
negative 1 times 3 is 3. All right, excuse me, I just noticed that I made a mistake right here. This should be a 2. Okay, so let's just take a second to soak this in, because I'm about to delete all of this. Okay, so what we are left with right now is the uh, row equivalent matrix 1, 2, 2. And on the bottom we have 0, 1, 3. So finally, the fourth thing we want to do is to get a 0 in the upper middle entry. And so to do this, we're going to do another uh, row operation where we add a constant multiple of this guy to here. If I multiply 1 by negative 2 and add it to 2, I get 0. So what I want is negative 2 times the second row plus the first row to replace the first row. And negative 2 times the second row is going to be 0. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. R1, again, is 1, 2, 2. So when I add these guys together, negative 2, R2 plus R1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. So what that then leaves me with is the row equivalent matrix. 1, 0, negative 4, 0, 1, 3. And this corresponds to the linear system 1x plus 0y is equal to negative 4, and 0x plus uh, 1y is equal to 3, or in other words, x is equal to negative 4, and y is equal to 3. Fantastic. So that is going to be our solution. And you can go ahead and check that this works out, and I guarantee to you that it does. Okay, let's look at one more example of this sort of thing, and let's solve the following system. 2x plus 3y is equal to 4, and 4x minus 5y is equal to negative 3. So the corresponding augmented matrix here is 2, 3, 4, negative 5, and on the right side we have 4 and negative 3. And again, the first thing we want to do is to get a 1 in the upper left. Now, the problem here is I don't already have a 1 in either of these two guys, so I'm definitely going to have to divide something. You know, either move the bottom row up here and divide by 4, or just divide the top row by 2. It's probably going to be easier to divide by the top row by 2. So I'm going to take one half the top row and replace the top row with that. So take a look at that. Okay, again the augmented matrix we were starting uh, off with was 2, or 3, negative 5, or negative 3. And I said let's take 1 half times row 1 and replace row 1 with that. This is a little unfortunate because we are going to have to deal with fractions. 2 times 1 half is 1. 3 times 1 half is 3 halves. 4 times 1 half is 2. And the bottom stays as 4, negative 5, and negative 3. Okay. Second, we want the lower left to be 0. So, well, if I multiply 1 by negative 4 and add it to 4, I get 0. So I'm going to take negative 4 times r1, add that to r2, and replace r2 with that. Negative 4, r1 is equal to negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 3 halves, I'll let you do the arithmetic out yourself, but it's negative 6. We have negative 12 over 2, and then 12 over 2 gives you 6, so you get that. And 2 times negative... Uh, 4 is negative 8. Row 2 is still 4, negative 5, and negative 3. 
So when I add these guys together, negative 4 row 1 plus row 2, I get 0 minus 11 minus 11. And so the resulting matrix from this is 1, 3 halves, 2, 0, negative 11, negative 11. Third, I want the lower middle to be a 1. And so to change negative 11 into a 1, I'm going to divide by negative 11. So what I'm going to do is take negative 1 11th row 2 and replace row 2 with that. And what that gives me then is the equivalent matrix, the row equivalent matrix 1, 3 halves, 2, 0, 1, negative 11 divided by uh, negative 11, give me 1, okay. And finally, 4, I want the, uh, the upper middle to be 0. And so to do that, I have to multiply 1 by something, so when I add it to 3 halves, I get 0. Well, I have to multiply it by negative 3 halves. So I'll take negative 3 halves R2 plus R1, and replace row 1 with this expression. Negative 3 halves r2 is just 0, negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves. r1 is 1, 3 halves, 2. So when I add these guys together, I get 0 plus 1 is 1, negative 3 halves plus 3 halves is 0. And negative 3 halves plus 2, 2 is 4 halves, so if I subtract 3 halves, I get 1 half. So just soak this in for a second. Okay. So what we are left with then is the row equivalent matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And up here I have a half, and down here I have 1. So this corresponds to the system x is equal to 1 half, and y is equal to 1. And that is our final answer. Fantastic. Yay.